Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn Biology in Easy Way. In this video, we will be discussing about an important topic that is sexual reproduction in paramecium. Paramecium reproduces both by asexual and sexual methods. After practicing asexual reproduction, that is binary fission, for a considerable number of generations, paramecia make a nuclear reorganization by conjugation or mating that is sexual reproduction sexual reproduction or conjugation during conjugation two individuals called conjugants or gametocyte come close together and paired by the ventral surface the interlocking between them is made stronger by the gallets which degenerate to form a protoplasmic bridge between them the paired conjugants are capable of movements. A series of changes occur in the nuclei of both the conjugants. These nuclear changes are the macronucleus undergo gradual disintegration and ultimately disappears. The micronucleus undergoes two successive divisions forming four micronuclei in each of the conjugants. Three of these four nuclei in each conjugant degenerate and the remaining one undergoes an unequal division to form two gamete nuclei. One of the gamete nuclei is large and is called the stationary nucleus while the small one is called the migratory nucleus. The migratory nucleus of one conjugant goes to the stationary nucleus of the other and vice versa through the protoplasmic bridge. The migratory nucleus of one conjugant ultimately unites with the stationary nucleus of the other and forms the zygote nucleus. The conjugants with the zygote nucleus now separate and are called X conjugant. In X conjugant, the zygote nucleus undergoes three successive divisions forming eight nuclei. Of these eight nuclei, four become macronuclei and four become micronuclei. Later on, three of the four micronuclei degenerate, leaving behind one active micronucleus. The micronucleus divides and cytoplasmic division follows, resulting into two paramecia from each X conjugant and each of the two paramecia is provided with two macronuclei and one micronucleus. The micronucleus again divides followed by the cytoplasmic division resulting in four paramecia each with one micro and one macronucleus. Thus from each X conjugant four paramecia are formed. In this figure we can see two individual paramecia come close together and paired by the ventral surface. This is the macronucleus and this is the micronucleus. Micronucleus undergo mutic division forming four haploid micronucleus. Among four micronuclei, three micronuclei degenerate and remaining one undergo unequal division forming two nucleus, which are called gamete nuclei. One gamete nuclei is large, which is called the stationary nucleus, and another nucleus is small which is called the migratory nucleus. Migratory nucleus of one individual goes to the stationary nucleus of another individual. The migratory nucleus unites with the stationary nucleus and ultimately form the zygote nucleus. The conjugants with the zygote nucleus now separate and are called X conjugants. In each X conjugant, the zygote nucleus undergo three successive divisions forming eight nuclei. Of these eight nuclei, four become macronuclei and four become micronuclei. Later on, three of the four micronuclei degenerate, leaving behind one active micronucleus. The micronucleus divides and cytoplasmic division follows, resulting into two paramecia from each X conjugant and each of the two paramecia is provided with two macronuclei and one micronucleus. The micronucleus again divides followed by the cytoplasmic division resulting in four paramecia each with one micro and 
one macronucleus. Thus, from each X conjugate, four paramecia are formed. Thank you.